All right, this video tutorial is to show you how to download and use the Gen mobile app on your Android device. For those of you that have used it in the past, this is the 2020 upgraded version. So you'll need to re-download it. To download it, you'll go to the Play Store, which is this icon right here. From there, you'll search Gen mobile app or Gin Mobile will get you there. You'll see the icon here, click that. Then hit the install button. From there, as it's downloading, what will take us to the login page. For the login, you'll need your Gin number and your last name. Your Gin number shows up in the handicap updates that we send on the 1st and the 15th of the month. So if you have that, you can reference it there, or you can contact us at handicap at gam.org or by phone at 248-478-9242, extension 110. So now you'll go to the page here. We'll enter in our number, GIN number, and last name, and then hit login. From there, there'll be a short tutorial. We're gonna skip that for now. And then we'll get logged in. We'll go, come to our main page. You'll see the Golf Association of Michigan, your name and then your home course. So for me, that's the GAM online or office club here. You'll list your handicap index and then your low handicap index, which is a new term for the world handicap system. And then you'll see your quick options to post a score, course handicap calculator. You'll see your recent scores here, and then some other information about the GAM down below. Today we're gonna cover how to post a score and use other features of the app. So we'll start with posting a score. We'll click post score. You can also click the post score button down here. When you go there, you'll have three options. You can post hole by hole, hole by hole with stats, or total score. We'll start with the most simple and work our way to up to the hole by hole with stats. So for total score, select that. And then it's gonna ask us if we want to allow Jin to access this location. It's up to you, your preference. Uh, one of the features that will be enabled in the future is to be able to search for nearby courses. So we recommend allowing it. Uh, once that feature is available, you'll see that right now it's not. Nearby here in blue is selected. But you can also look at your recently played courses or you can search up here. When you're searching, just know that this filter button here is going to be preset to Michigan. So if you're down in Florida and you're searching for a course, make sure you change the state to Florida before searching. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and we'll search for course down there. We'll look for this course right here. Select the course, then we'll choose whether it's 18 or nine holes. So we'll do 18 holes and we'll select our T. From here we have our choice of T's. Select the T, then hit done. Then we'll pick the score type, be either home or away or a competition score. So there used to be a tournament scores. Those are no longer um, called tournament scores. They're just called competition scores. And the reason for that is that tournament scores um, are, are handled a little bit differently in the World Handicap System calculation. But you can still track them via calling it a competition score if you'd like. Next, you'll select the date of the score you played, or the, yeah, the uh, date of, this, of the round. Okay, but remember, starting in 2020 with the World Handicap System, the handicaps update daily, so it's highly recommended that you post your score before the end of the day after, on the day you play. Okay, so let's just for good practice, we'll select the ninth because that's today. And then we're going to enter in either the front nine and the back nine or just a total score. So we'll just keep it simple, type in 89 and then hit post score. 
and then you'll get a confirmation page that your score has been posted with your handicap uh, differential and then your recent scores. You can go and view your score history from here. We're gonna go back, just go ahead and hit done. We wanna post another score here. We're gonna do whole, we're gonna do whole by whole score now. So to do that, we're gonna click whole by whole. And then again, we can either search or we can do recently played. Let's try this here. So we'll click on Meadowbrook. And then let's say here we want, uh, let's do, we'll do 18 holes again. And then we're gonna select our T that we played, just like before. And then home away or competition, and then our date. So in Michigan, we can't post scores. We only post scores from April 1st to October 31st. So we'll have to backdate this one. And then we'll select enter hole by hole score. And then from here, you'll see the card will come up and then we'll just start typing in our score. So five, four, five, four, nice birdie, five, and nice par, five, 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 and then you'll see it'll take us through. The one thing you can do if you'd like, there's a save round button here. If you'd like to uh, keep score while you're playing, you can do that and hit save round. And then when you go in, um, after you hit save round, it'll take you out. And then when you go back to post your score, it'll allow you to continue posting from that round that you're doing. Uh, but if you're just going to do it at the end, that's fine too. So we'll just type in the rest of the scores here. And then we'll hit done. And then go ahead and post score. And then when we do that hole by hole, there's a couple benefits of doing hole by hole. One, you'll get a nice little summary here of your pars and birdies and your averages and the par fours, par fives and par threes. But the other thing is that you won't need to worry about adjusting your score for net double bogey, which is the new maximum score that you can post on any given hole. So you can take care of that by just simply posting hole by hole and you don't have to worry about that new way of adjusting your score to make it a, an accurate postable score. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done here. Oops. And the last way to post a score is to post a whole by whole score with stats. So in same, same thing here, we're going to pick a recently played course. Let's do nine holes. Okay, and then we'll select the date, so maybe it was yesterday. And then we're gonna enter the whole by whole score here. And you'll see when you have this, you have the setup, it's whole by whole here. So we're gonna see the holes number one and then the number in blue here is what is selected. So if I made bogey on number one, I'd click the five, select how many putts I had, three putted it, but I did hit the green in regulation and I hit the fairway. Then I'll go to the next hole. In this hole, par five, I made a, a, a par. Um, I had a one putt, I missed the green, and I missed the fairway. And then you see when I, it says I missed the fairway, it'll say which direction. So I missed it to the left. Go ahead and click next. And then for purposes of just speeding this up, we're gonna have perfect golf from here on out. If we need to go back to, we can click previous hole and then addition, just like before, if we want to save this, we can save it and then go to it, get, come back to it later as well. And then in terms of the stats, the last thing we'll mention about the stats is that it's open-ended in terms of how you define a putt and what you define as a green in regulation. Someone will count the fringe as hitting a green in regulation or counting a putt when it's from the fringe and others won't. That's totally up to you and how you want to categorize it. And you're gonna hit review round and then it's gonna take you to the page where you can make sure you've got everything correct. We're gonna slide over to make sure Right, looks good, and then we're gonna hit post score. And then it's gonna give us our score, again, a summary. 
And then also a summary of our advanced stats, how many putts we had, how many greens and regulations, fairways hit, where we missed it. So a really cool tool. If you'd like to put that information in there, totally up to you. All right, next we're gonna move to the second main component of the app is the course handicap calculator. So to click to access that, click course handicap calculator. From there, you'll have the same screen come up again. The nearby courses is not currently enabled, but will be in the near future. So we'll go ahead and search for a course and we'll make sure that our filter is set to Michigan. Okay. We'll search for Hawk Hollow. And we'll come up with a course here that we'll select. And then we can select either nine holes or 18. We'll switch back to 18 here. And then we'll select the T that we want to view our course handicap. And from the red T's, this golfer here is an eight course handicap. Okay, and then we'll, we'll go back to the course handicap calculator in a second to show you how you can get people or view other people in the course handicap calculator, but to add golfers to your list of people that you follow or people that you play with, you're going to go to the golfer lookup button here at the bottom of the page. From there, you can look up anyone's handicap index as long as you have their name or their gin number. So if we want to add some friends to the list, we can do that. see only people in our club. So we'll hit the filter button and hit that. And once we find the golfer that we're looking for, we'll hit the star button here to add them to our list of followers. So we found a few people here. And then we're going to exit out of this. And then go back to the home button in the bottom left, and then go back to the course handicap calculator. We'll just pick a course that we recently played here. Select the T that we played. And then now we hit select golfers. And you'll see that our friends that we are following are now able to select. So we'll go ahead and add them in there. And then now we can see their course handicap as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and select the tees for them that they're playing. If it's, it'll automatically select the same tee for any gender that you are, but if you have a different gender as in this case, then it'll be a little bit different and you'll have to select them. But you could have people playing from different tees. You can select that and it will calculate the appropriate course handicaps. The next thing that we'll cover is how to view your stats. So you can do that by clicking the stats button here in the bottom. For any round that you've had stats on, it will have a down arrow here for you to reference. But you'll also see just your score history here. But if you click stats, this will give you a breakdown of all the stats that you've entered in the system so far. And then you see back to score history, you can click on the individual round where you entered stats to take a look at what is entered. Then lastly, we'll cover in this tutorial is the more section of the app. From the more section, you'll be able to view your handicap history. Okay, and then you'll also be able, and, and a point of note here, remember because of the World Handicap System, this it's a new calculation. So your previous history from 2019 and beyond is not gonna be in here because it's a different formula, but you'll see that every time that a golfer posts a score, that update will, will go in there because now handicaps update daily. 
sorry about that. And you'll see a revision for any time after the after date is stored around was posted. The other thing that we can reference in the more that's that's uh, common that people like to see is their handicap cards. You can click my card here and it will show us a picture of your handicap card that you're familiar with seeing. And then if you ever need to log out or you have any other questions, you can look at uh, everything in this more section. That ends this video tutorial. If you have any questions about the GIN mobile app or how to use it, please contact the GAM at handicap at gam.org. Again, that's handicap at gam.org or by phone at 248 478 9242 extension 114. Again, 248 478 9242 extension 114. Thank you very much and have a great day.